Chicago police in the nation's third largest city said 36 people were shot including seven fatally over the Memorial Day weekend. Slightly less gunfire than the city has seen over the holiday weekend in the previous two years. The city tallied six murders and 44 wounded over the weekend what has historically been one of the most violent times of the year here last year, and seven murders and 61 shooting victims during the 2016 holiday weekend, according to police. The reduction in gun violence comes as city officials are trying to turn the corner after two horrendous years in which Chicago recorded 650 murders in 2017 and 762 murderers in 2016 more homicides than any other U.S. city and a level of gun violence more typical of the late 1980s and early 1990s when many major metros were battered by the scourge of gang-fueled drug violence. The city has had 191 murders so far in 2018, compared with 237 murderers at the same point last year, and is on pace once again to record more homicides than any other American city. There have been 821 shooting incidents so far this year compared with 1,032 at the same point last year. Despite the 19% decline in murders and 20% decrease in shootings, Chicago still has tallied nearly as many homicides thus far in 2018 as New York City 106 and Los Angeles 92 combined. As it has done in the past, Chicago police flood in the streets with hundreds of additional officers in hopes of stemming the violence. The department said it seized 115 illegally possessed guns off the streets from 6 p.m. Friday through Monday. This isn't the weekend for nonsense. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson declared. Chicago has invested millions of dollars in improving technology to help officers on the street more quickly respond to shootings and better predict areas that could be hotspots for violence. Crime analysts from the University of Chicago's Crime Lab work with police at 13 of the city's 22 police districts in what have been dubbed strategic decision support centers. The technological surge includes an expansion of shot spotter technology sensors that several big city police departments use to help detect gunfire and increases the number of remote controlled police cameras. The data from the shot spotter sensors and the remote videos are immediately accessible to cops on the streets via smartphones. The department found shot spotter sensors, on average, detect shootings five minutes ahead of when dispatchers first receive citizen reports. The Trump administration also announced last year that it was dispatching an additional 20 ATF agents permanently to Chicago to help crack down on gun violence. With the additional agents, the agency presence will increase to about 61 agents from 41 in Chicago. The Justice Department and City also formed a joint strike force of federal and local law enforcement officials to ramp up prosecution of gun-related crimes. Among the murder victims this weekend around Chicago were five men and two young women. Police had no suspects in custody in any of the fatal shootings. While Chicago and Illinois have relatively stricter gun laws, Police have traced much of the gang-related gun violence in Chicago to illegally purchased weapons from other states, including Indiana, Mississippi and Wisconsin. A study published earlier this month in the Journal of Urban Health that looked at the social network of 188,000 people arrested in Chicago found that people in the network were 2.5 handshakes away from access to a firearm. The study also found that gang membership reduced the distance to access to a firearm by 27%. People are pretty darn close to guns, but it's not quite as easy as driving through McDonald's, said Northwestern University sociology professor Andrew Papakristos, who was a senior author of the study. But gangs play a key role in facilitating access to guns. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you can get the latest video notification, and this is absolutely free.